I'm John Ratzenberger. On this Made in America, we travel to Norwell, Massachusetts, where Zildjian makes the symbols that musicians love to crash. Then it's off to Mountjoy, Pennsylvania, for some time well spent with RGM watchmakers. And finally, we pay a visit to Petaluma, California, where Mrs. Grossman's makes the stickers that stick to the culture. I've been all over this great country, in small towns and big cities, visiting factories and workshops, searching for the soul of America. And you know what? I found it everywhere. So sit back and relax, because we've got it made in America. Mount Joy is indeed a joyful Pennsylvania town, but it's not on a mountain. It was named in honor of a 17th century Irish naval ship called the Mount Joy. To find Mount Joy, you have to travel into Lancaster County, best known for its Amish communities. But the area is also renowned as a center of watch and clock making. When you're there, make time to visit the nearby National Watch and Clock Museum, which was erected here because this is where the world famous Hamilton Watch Company was founded in the late 19th century. Hamilton has been gone for decades, but in 1991, Roland G. Murphy reinvigorated Lancaster's watchmaking heritage by founding the RGM Watch Company in Mount Joy. It took Roland and his team of watchmakers, which includes artist Rich Baum, fairly 10 years to establish RGM as a premier American brand. Like a lot of inventors and entrepreneurs, Roland discovered his lifelong passion as a kid. I worked in a, a small clock company in Maryland mm -hmm. doing wood, wood cabinets. I was kind of fascinated with the mechanisms of these clocks, and I had bought some, and I'd take them apart and put them together, and I realized I really like that. So I went to school in Lancaster, and then after that, I went to school in Switzerland for watchmaking, and then I worked for a big Swiss company. But I wanted to do my own thing and make watches the way I wanted to make watches. Thankfully, he wanted to make them back home in America. Last year, I went into the jewelry stores, and I'd say, are there any watches still made in America? Go, eh, no, 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 no. So it was, it was a real thrill to find out that you guys are here. Rich and I designed the watches. Um, him and I worked together on them. When he came to work here, he's a trains artist. Now, I'm used to painting pictures like this here, or drawing pen and ink, oh, drawings beautiful. like this. And I thought, what, 1 to 12? I mean, how can you get creative like that? But Roland, he's a true master watchmaker. Rich's designs range from numbered dials to custom engravings. My eye goes immediately to this one right here. <laughs> that's... Well, there's a good reason, probably, John. <laughs> you have that? good taste, because that's our most expensive watch. How much? That watch, actually, the retail is $175,000. This piece here is hand engraved, but it's also skeletonized. This oh, is you a, see right through right, it. This is a chronograph, so it keeps time, but it's also a stopwatch. You can spend years trying to understand all the intricacies of how a fine watch keeps good time. So suffice it to say that a watch works by releasing stored energy in precise intervals. The source of that energy is the mainspring. And it's the balance wheel that creates the intervals. In between them, you find the escapement wheel. Was this like a Paul Bunyan watch you're making here? What is... Actually, that's, John, that's an escapement model. The power from the mainspring that goes through the wheel train right. eventually ends up at the escape wheel. It is escaping one tooth at a time. Oh, and then the escape wheel is going to work against this, what we call the pallet. So as the escape wheel is releasing tooth by tooth and hitting each one of these jewels, there's a lot of friction there. So the jewels are very hard and they won't wear. I'm going to start this running. You can see on this, the hairspring, once it gets a kick, oh, look the at hairspring that. is sure. bringing it back and forth and continues to, to run. This system dates back to the 18th century and mimics the movement of a pendulum. It was how sailors kept time on rocky seas. That sound, that's a very comforting sound, isn't it? It is. When we come back to Made in America, our RGM watch gets all wound up. Then stay tuned for a look at why Mrs. Welcome Grossman's back to RGM Watches, where time is always of the essence. If you love watches and how they work, 
Every component is a thing of beauty. The jewels, as in the 17 jewel movement, are rubies. They're used in the palette and as low friction bearings because of their hardness. Of course, it's not the tiny jewels that determine what a watch costs. It's the details, tiny details, and the time they take to assemble. An RGM watch may take 18 months. For some of its most intricate designs, RGM uses a rose engine that dates to 1913. Only a handful like this are still operating. It's called a rose engine because back here on the barrel, there are rosettes. See these rosettes with different shapes on them? So I'm gonna create a beautiful pattern on here. As you can see, we've already started. So you can move in here. I'm gonna put on my eye loop. I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna start cutting. Now I'm starting to oh, cut. Oh, yeah, sure. And it's, it's cutting and moving back and forth. Right. And it's doing a beautiful geometric pattern right onto this watch plate in the same shape as the rosette it's riding on. So it's making a wavy line. Exactly. Oh, we're going to let you try it now. Oh, yeah? Now, there's okay. only, there's, there's hours and hours of work already put into this. Yeah. So if you mess up, yeah, who cares? it's only it. I'm so out here, of, you I'm use out of this side. 10 minutes anyway. Now, what you're going to do, see that wheel there by, the, by your left hand? Start cranking, but not too fast. There you go. Oh, look at now, that. Just, just keep turning it, and you can stop there. Nice. Slide it out. Look at that. Very good. Look at that. I actually feel like I've accomplished something. If you something could stay today. another three or four hours, you could finish it for us. The results can be an almost infinite variety of patterns. Not surprisingly, many of the watch's basic components come from the traditional home of watches, Switzerland. But as even a Swiss watchmaker will attest, a fine timepiece is judged by its design and assembly. Alan Shade is RGM's supervising watchmaker. And this is the uh, barrel bridge, which covers the main barrel, holds it in place. This is fascinating work. It's like putting a miniature erector set together. Oh, look at that spring. The trigger spring, is it? Is that what no, it's called? we got the main spring was in the barrel, and now the hair spring is, hair over, spring. is on the balance. That's what you see going back and forth. I was thinking of the word hair trigger. You're not armed, are you, John? Uh, not today. Helen Powell installs the hands with a device called a pusher. And I'll push the minute handle in. And just wait for it to click, do you? Mm -hmm. mm. And the hands, if you can see, mm -hmm. are level. Yeah, and yeah. this particular movement has a small second hand second offset. Hand. Oh, get a so tiny little pusher. Yes. Push this on. And you can see it started running right away. Now it's time for Raphael to attach the stem and assemble the casing. It's like being a surgeon in a lot of ways, isn't it? It's sort of, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sort it's of. the tiny tools that you use. To protect the front, put on the bezel, and then we put the back on. Oh, it's a clear back so you yeah. can see the workings. You see, right, right. So you can see the wonderful work that had been done to it. How many people in the world can say they're wearing a watch that they put together, when you think of it? Not too many. Not, not, too not many. a lot. Not, not a, a lot. lot. You're, not a very, lot. you're a very rare breed. Only time can tell whether a watch, any watch, can stand the test of time. But when you think about it, it's the watch itself that keeps the time it's being tested on. Raphael, Alan, Helen, thanks, everybody. Coming up on Made in America.